Welcome back. We are in need of transportation to Daventry, and as luck would have it, there is a ship docked at the pier in the town. And we have found uh, what appear to be sailors, so I guess they are the owners of said ship. Or at least the people who sail on it. Not sure if they own it. Um, let's look at them first, actually. The sailors have obviously been drinking heavily for some time and are very loud and rowdy. How rude of them. The sailors peer at you through bleary eyes and continue swilling their rum. One, who looks like the captain, pauses and drunkenly slurs, Aye, me bako, be ya wantin' passage on me ship. What ya runnin' from? Ah, no matter as long as you got gold. Let me see how much I got. Um, where are you going? The drunken sea captain looks angry as he asks again. Don't ignore me, laddie. I ask you how much gold you got for the passage on me ship. Are you going to Daventry? Daventry? <laughs> that has no effect. Too late, bucket, bucko, the sea captain slurs. I ain't interested in you no more. Go pester someone else. Now, don't we just make the game unwinnable? I guess so. Anyway. Let me see how much I got. I guess we're just gonna have to hope that he takes us at least in the right direction. As you bring out the purse, the captain snatches it from your hand and says, Aye lad, I see you do have a wee bit of gold. As a last of me regular fare, but I'll give you a passage anyways. We'll be waiting for you at the wharf, but not for long. The captain and his men der down their rum in one long draught, then leave the tavern. They just disappear. Okay. Well, we got passage to somewhere. With these nice, trustworthy looking men. Let's just hope they take us uh, to where we need to go. Doesn't look like there's anything else we can do here. And we definitely want to leave. So let's um, get on board that ship there. You better get aboard, boy, or we'll sail without you. He was stuck behind the mast there for some reason. The gangplank is drawn out. If it's draw, sorry. As the gangplank is drawn in, you hear the captain shout to his men, Take his things and put him in the hold, until I figure out what to do with him. You have a sneaking suspicion that you have made a big mistake. These are pirates. This always threw me off as a kid, because, well, my English wasn't particularly good yet, but I did know uh, some words, and I definitely knew the word mistake, which the game always uses when you... Um, die, or nearly always uses when you die, which uh, made me believe that this was actually the wrong thing to do, and that this was a game over scenario, so I would uh, restore back to something before this and try try and find another way around this, before uh, realizing that this is actually what you're supposed to be doing. And they play a merry tune. Let's hope this ship doesn't sink. Nothing like a little salt air to perk up a boy's spirits. All things being equal, you might have enjoyed this ocean voyage. However, you find your accommodations to be slightly less than satisfactory. Yes, because apparently we are in the hold of the ship. And it still beats traveling economy class by aircraft. You're in the dark, uh, sorry, you're in the dank cargo hold of the pirate ship. With caution, you look around the dim surroundings. Mostly, you see stacks of wooden crates. Looking upward, you notice a rope ladder dangling part way through an opening in the cold ceiling. The ladder is directly over the largest crate. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. We can just use our sto. Oh. I guess not. They took all of our stuff, except the dough in our ears. 
Okay, I guess we're gonna have to find another way out then. Well, this crate doesn't seem too high. Surely we can climb it. Why don't you try jumping? Of course, even though it seems like you should be able to climb on top of this crate without much trouble, that would have made too much sense. So, let's see if we can find another way out of here. You notice many crates and boxes in the cargo holds. One in particular captures your attention, for it lies directly under the dangling rope ladder. But it seems impossible to scale. Oh, and it looks like I have to go around the top. Let's see if there's anything else in this cargo hold. There's mice! Do they know anything about my uh, heritage? Seems everybody else knows about it. Every other animal knows that we were Prince Alexander for some reason. I don't know why. What do you think the pirates will do with the boy? They shang hide? A little grey mouse squeaks to a companion. They'll probably make him cabin boy, answered the other mouse. What happened to the last cabin boy they had? Didn't you hear? They fed him to the sharks, just for sport. Yeah, they lose more cabin boys that way. Okay, I, it seems that uh, being cabin boy is a job with some health risks, so we'd better work on escaping. There's a tiny crate here. Large wooden crates are stacked along one wall of the, so of the hold. There's also a smaller crate here. Maybe this one is small enough that we can jump on it. Well, not from here, apparently. That's fun. Is there a is there a keyboard shortcut to jump? Doesn't look like it. Let's get that crate. And now we're carrying it! Wow, I'm impressed they bothered to make a separate sprite for that. I mean, they couldn't be bothered to, uh, to make a sprite for Graham wearing the cloak in <laughs> the previous game. Well, still, this seems like it would be a, an appropriate stepping stone. And we can't go around carrying that crate the whole time, so... Let's see. Um, jump crate? Oh, crate, not create. That works. Oh, help. There we go, and we automatically stop in the middle. The ladder is just out of reach. Well, something tells me there's going to be pirates about. So let's save, and then try and jumping on the ladder. Suddenly, Alexander can jump a lot higher. <laughs> yeah. That was just peachy. Let's take a look. You look curiously around. Out of porthole you see the swell of the ocean. A device for turning the ship's rudder sets in the floor. A rope ladder extends up through an opening in the ceiling. Can we change course? I guess not. Spoil my fun. Well, it looks like this is the captain's cabin anyway, and the captain is in, which tells me it's probably not a good idea to try and sneak in behind him. The captain doesn't want you snooping in his quarters. You're in trouble now. I'll not tolerate you snooping out me quarters, the captain thunders. If I catch you in here again, you'll walk the plank. And he throws his back down. Let's save some time to... Uh, by just restoring. If you do that too often, he will actually make you walk the plank, and you die. Let's check here. Oh no, one of the crew has spotted you! You'd better run! Fortunately, I think they will not follow you uh, further than one screen. And with a bit of luck, he'll be gone now. No, he's not. Oh, the captain was gone. He's not. And the captain is back. 
I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Anyway, we're gonna keep doing this until either he or the captain leaves. The captain is gone. That's good enough for me. This must be the captain's cabin. He seems to be a bit more tidy than his mates, as more the room is clean and orderly. Against one wall rests its bunk with a large chest at its foot. Across the room is his desk with a chart tacked to the wall. Let's take a look at that chart. You stare at the chart tacked to the wall. It traces the route the ship is now sailing. It leaves Ludor crossing a wide ocean and arriving at the foot of a mountain range. An X has been marked at the arrival point. It still isn't really saying that we're going to uh, Daventry or not. Not very helpful. This chest might be of interest. You found all of your possessions. You take them with you. Yay, we have all our stuff, including the uh, stone and the map and whatever else you might want. So let's save. Let's check out here. It's the stern of the ship. You're standing on the aft end of the ship. Jump. You endeavor to climb over the railing, but change your mind as you feel it might be unsafe. <laughs> okay. I guess. Calm seas, by the way. They're perfectly flat. And there's some seagulls. Or birds, anyway. The gulls soar gracefully on the sea breezes. But seagulls are land-based birds, so they're only around if you're close to land. I guess maybe the the gulls of uh, Luder are different. Actually, the captain can come back, so it's uh, if you go out there, so it can be slightly dangerous. Anything in the drawers? Really? That's stupid. He's got some books. It's just as it appears. Can we open any of these drawers? No. Can we get in bed? No, we could do so in the uh, House of the Three Bears, but not here, apparently. Okay, let's see if we have a little bit more luck getting to the right here now. We do! Nice. You found yourself below the lower deck. They keep the ship's lifeboat stowed here, stored here. There are open doorways at either end of the compartment. There's a shovel lying by the lifeboat. Well, the shovel might come in handy. And the lifeboat too, but I'm guessing we can't take it. There's no reason to take it. And it seems like the uh, crew's bunks are up here. This is where your average pirate sleeps. Actually, these bunks don't look much more comfortable than your own miserable cot used to be, and the space is just as cramped. Well, this lifeboat might be useful to us uh, to get out of here, but it looks uh, a little bit difficult to get out of here. So, um, let's look around the ship some more, see if we can find another way off in the next video.